Hello, everybody. This video here is how to make the double ultimate TV antenna. You see, I, I laid two regular ultimate antennas out on the table. What I was doing was was seeing what the length was, uh, you know, from one end to the other without the handle. And that measurement was uh, 29 and a quarter. You know, if you don't if you don't need the handle. So that's what I'm doing. I'm over here on the saw cutting them. Now I'm cutting my little six inch spacers. And that's all that is, is just spacers. That antenna is like real heavy duty antenna. So what I'm doing is I cut a board, and I'm be putting a board in the center of the spacers and the uh, center of everything. You'll see what I'm talking about. See me measuring how wide it is to go in so it'll slide up in the hole. I'm ripping it out here. I'm telling you something. This right here, this antenna ain't hard to build. But, man, it, it takes a while. It takes a while. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, you know. But if you need it, if you need one, you need it. And this man that I'm going to put this one up for, he went way back, way back away from making. Okay, I'm sliding them in. You know, I wound up like thinning that down some. I I drove that one in because I didn't drove it in so far. They wasn't no pulling it back out. But uh, man, I wound up hitting my hand with the hammer. Oh, that's the one that I done trimmed there. So I didn't show the one that went in hard. I done edited part of this right here. And right here, I got the glue gun, and I'm just putting some glue in there, and uh, you know, just trying to keep the water away from the wood. And here's my cross pieces. I think that they, uh, I think I got them two and a quarter. And what I done is I laid one of my little pieces on there and marked the mark. And then they spaced out every nine and a half inches. I'm taking it, centering it up, put the center line on there. Right. And most time, I usually just kind of guess at it. But I put a center line on it today. Man, see right here where my hand was, where I hit myself with that hammer? And I'm gluing them pieces down. I usually don't do that. Well, sometimes I do. Well, it seems like I do when I'm on, when I'm making a video. But you know, I had that glue gun there, so it's just kind of a temporary, just to hold it still. And you can sit there and kind of line it up good too. If you don't mind that, you add them things crooked. There it is. I got one of them done. Fit to start messing with the other and fit to get them identical. And you want them, you want to make this right here as identical as you can.
see I got them screws there. I think them's two inch screws. And they'd probably been all right, but I just felt like that I needed some longer screws in it. But I ain't realized that yet on the video. They see me laying them longer screws out, and I'm checking them to make sure they won't go through the bottom. And I took the the ones I had put in, I, I took them back out and put the long screws all the way. Hey, it's going to be another year before I make one of these things. The next time you see me making one of these, you're going to say, Oh, Danny boy, he's making some money. Because I ain't doing, I ain't doing no more of them unless I'm making some money. Uh, that's, man, like I say, it's a lot of work. It's, it's worth it, you know, to make your own antenna like that. Because, I mean, that, that joker will get down and go, it'll... It'll make that ultimate antenna alone. It'll make it look like, it'll make it look bad. <laughs> you know, in that 100-mile shootout I done, you can look at that video, you know, just sitting here thinking about it. It's kind of hard to believe that it will make that ultimate antenna look bad. So you can imagine what it do to any other antenna. And y'all, I made this thing right here. And it's really, it's just real simple. It's just, a, I had an extra saw. And actually the handle was tore up on it. And I got it, I got the blade sticking through just the right amount of distance that, that it won't cut too, in too far. And uh, I took a hammer and bent the blade over. So it wobbles when it cuts. I've tried all kind of, I've tried all kind. Of, I put two saw blades on there before. There ain't nothing works better than that, in, than that right there. And the blade, just to tell you what that blade looks like, it ain't no carbide dip or nothing. It looks like one of them hand saw blades. I mean, yeah, a hand saw blade is what it looks like. But it cuts that with no problem. You have to turn that over and look at it and make sure that, that it cuts down good because them pieces, they look like they straight and perfect. But anything that you're making, it ain't never straight and perfect. But, I mean, it's close. But like I say, you kind of have to eyeball them, the little cutout slots there. You see that right there I'm pointing at? What, what I got to do is... is Hit that one more time. And uh, <laughs> you see me here, got the glue gun, fit to put my wire pieces down. You know, I wouldn't have done that. But that glue gun was just right there. And, man, it's like peeing in the ocean. I mean, every little bit helps, you know. And I, if, if, that, if that glue that gun hadn't been right there, hooked up and everything, I wouldn't even have never done it. But it still ain't no bad idea. 
I'm making sure that it's centered up there. I'm looking at every every point where the screw goes in. I'm making sure that's just right. I'm going to tell y'all something about me. You won't never have to worry about me putting a video on this, a flop. In other words, whenever you go and make it, you realize that you had been had. And this, this right here is full, this YouTube is full of videos like that. Uh, a lot of the antenna ones is like that. And uh, if you notice, I ain't drilling that. I got some little self-tapping screws. I was going to show you all that one day. And, man, they, there ain't nothing that works better than, like, self-tapping screw for that because it ain't moving. You're doing everything in one step. And if you're doing everything in one step, you, you're a lot better off. See me crossing my pieces there? That actually takes a little bit of practice, believe it or not. But you can make it. And, uh, y you know, you'll, you'll see that I didn't, uh, I didn't put a gap in my crosses. I just left them flat because you'll wind up laying that antenna down, man, a half a dozen times. And you'll always wind up putting a gap in it at the end. I'll tell y'all something. If you watching this around here, if you local to me, and you just might want to come by an antenna. Uh, not that not that I'm trying to sell them, but it's t that's 21 foot of wire on that antenna. I've counted it up. I don't know how many times. It don't seem like 21 foot, but it's 21 foot of wire, and it ain't really cheap. Uh, by the time you actually go get your stuff, it ain't really something cheap. It's just something good. And then, uh, which, y'all been sending me some pictures and stuff uh, lately. And boy, y'all really stepped your game up by making these antennas. I mean, showing up some good looking pictures of, of antennas y'all been making. And it, it wasn't like that in the beginning. <laughs> There was a uh, some sent me some, and uh, and um, the thing about it is that hell they don't have to look good to pick up good. They they have to look good to sell them. You know, people like to see them being up whiskers and all that. And and if you make it, if you make your backbone out of wood, they see that piece of wood. Hey, they just turn off, boy. But everybody's been making some real good-looking antennas. I wish I had some of y'all around here. You help me, man. That must be the second, the second one there. Yeah, yeah, I see you on the table there. Okay. Trimming my my long pieces off. Don't leave yours on. Trim them. I've seen people leave them on. Go in and cut them off. I'm cut my reflectors. 
That's a two foot by 36 inches. See, when you're doing this, you're doing twice the amount of work, see. Everything is times two. I got my reflectors laying up there. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to remember the distance that's supposed to be in between them. Because, see, I ain't made one of these in a long time, and... Uh, there's a certain there's a certain amount of distance it's had to be, and that that is a, they need to be two foot apart. And I've spread them out more, and I've put them together. The two foot is the magic number. You see me putting my uh, pieces on here, my spacers, and what I was doing was putting one screw in. And uh, you'll see here. I'm taking the grinder and cutting that that nut off. Uh, you know, it really ain't that big of a deal, but it'll get in the way of your reflector. You'll wind up you'll wind up fighting your reflector. So I done done so many. I know it'll get in the way, so I just cut them off. And I wiped silicone over the the cut part, which I didn't cut into. I didn't cut into none of the plastic PVC pieces, but I still wiped it up. Wiped it over the, the screw. And being I only put one screw in that, you know, for now, I did glue that. I did glue and screw it. Just so it be still. See right there, I got a black line right there in the center. I got a black line on my spacer there. All right, I got that part finished there. See me wiping that silicone over the screw, over the screw heads, which is not a head there. What I'm doing there is I'm squaring the two antennas up. All right, I'm getting my camera ready there. See, I got my cross piece laying up there just kind of checking everything out. Now, I knew the wire had to go on next before I put them on but I'm still kind of just checking it making sure I had the measurements right because that that's important okay so here's the reflectors putting on there I want to let y'all know I read the comments I a lot of times I don't answer but I read them all most all of them, and you got to understand, I get a lot of comments, and I got, I actually got four channels, you know, one of them's a drum channel, and uh, I get a lot of comments, but, and sometimes I get a kick out of what y'all say, <laughs> somebody, I can't remember who it is, uh, says, I'm the first one to, to like, it, or first one to comment, or something like that.
Then I get some bad comments too. You know about the hillbilly stuff and everything. And man, I like to know, like, who told him about me and my cousin. That's all I'd like to know. And some of them get under my skin, man. Like, uh, you can ban somebody from your channel. You know, you don't have to put up with somebody harassing you. And I don't, you know, most time I overlook it because I know they're just messing around anyway. But some of them, sometimes they make me mad. And, uh, but that ain't, that ain't very often there that I ban somebody. And I got a couple people to enjoy, um, like, giving me a dislike, and that's okay. Uh, here's, you know what, a dislike is better than, like, not doing nothing. A dislike is a call to the action. As far as YouTube's concerned, a dislike is just as good as a like. And you can trust, I know that don't sound right, but you can trust me. They don't care. I've seen videos before. They had more dislikes than they had likes. And it was the number one video. But it was something that people would watch, like, out of curiosity. See how I ain't putting that exactly center? I'm, I'm putting the middle uh, a little bit high. Oh, uh, so, so to be bottom here. And I made that, that hole there, uh, I made that hole kind of big right there. I didn't make the hole big that's going into the space, but I made that little part right there with a little bit bigger hole because I didn't want to take a chance on splitting the wood. I know I give some people hell on here about, you know, making them antennas and everything. And I shouldn't let it bother me, but it's something about me that, like, I hate somebody talking that don't know what they're talking about. And and they won't, they won't make it right, and they won't change it, and they won't delete it, neither. I mean, I see a bunch of that all the time. I'm sure y'all do, too. I just, I just like for somebody to be saying something right. And them roofers I used to have work with me. Boy, you talking about pull a bull. Boy, I, I be telling them, I said, if y'all don't shut up, I challenged a few of them. <laughs> One of them was up there on the steep part of the roof, and he was... I said, come down here. He, I forgot about you. I still don't remember. But he told me about it later. I said, come down here. But I said, both of y'all come down here. I take both of y'all at one time. He was telling me about it later, you know, years later. I said, well, did y'all come down? He said, hell no. <laughs> you know, and I don't remember I can't tell you if I was saying it, I meant what I was saying. I wasn't no, I ain't no bluffer. Man, see how much time all that little stuff takes. And I mean, anytime you're doing something right, and my reflector wire was in the way, aggravate me. The next, if I ever do another like that, where I'm going to be putting the screws at, I'm going to clip uh, the wire that may be hitting the, uh, see that, that wire is right in the center. And you're putting your screw right in the center. And that actually throws me off a little bit when I was making that antenna. So, I mean, it ain't exactly perfect like the way I had planned on it being because them screws that go down there and hit that wire, and it would change, it would shift like a, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch, and then the other one shift an eighth of an inch, and might not exactly shift an eighth of an inch the same way both times. So, 
that what I say is. Man, it's time consuming. I actually put silicone on that part too, right there. All right, I got both pieces in. You know, you do about as much standing around looking, making sure something's right, as you do working. Uh, probably more, me, probably more. And see me screwing my reflector down? Yeah, I think I decided to take that screw out and put a shorter screw in so it would because that the other one it would have went all the way through so i'm what i'm doing is i'm putting the same screws in as, as what i use to screw down a little two and a quarter inch pieces Okay, I'm making up my wires to run down to my transformer. That's 14 gauge speaker wire. See, I kind of measured, had it laying out. Now I'm just cutting both of them identical. Stripping my wires back. Y'all know that last video I made? I was thinking about it, you know, when I was watching. I said I had told both of them boys not to buy that antenna. And, and like, I watched it a few times, and, and uh, because I made a Facebook video too, it ain't exactly the same as the one I got on YouTube. I never make them the same. But I had told them not to buy that kind of an antenna. And they done it anyway, and, you know, I don't think they believed me. I think that they thought I was just trying to sell an antenna. But I bet you they know it now. See me tin in the wire? That ain't something I'm real good at. You know, I reckon I can do it, but Man, these people that can do that just as slick as, man, whatever. But I ain't one of them. I tell y'all something while we're looking at this. I lost one of them soldering irons. Them, them things are fifty dollars a piece, and I had lost that soldering iron. And and uh, my wife had helped me clean clean up out there, and I blamed it on her. And we looked and looked and looked. You trust me, fifty dollar soldering gun. We looked a long time, and I found it the other day. Uh, a rat got it. He had it up there in his nest. <laughs> I, I reckon one of us laid it up there on a shelf. It wasn't even food to be there to start with. But man, a rat got it. And I was going to tell y'all, if you want to, I'm Danny S. Hodges on Facebook. I've actually got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of YouTube friends. And man, it, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, it seems like they better friends than the people I know. I mean, they they for damn sure nicer. I know that. And I, you see me, I got them being over the, the wire there, the 10 gauge wire, fitting the solder on down. You know, soldering is like, well, it kind of seems like me, it's kind of like welding. If you can get where you're comfortable to where you ain't got your arms in an awkward position and everything, 
it makes a lot of difference. And uh, and I'm doing it out there on that table. And it just ain't it just ain't the same as like me sitting right right in the house on my board there where I usually do it. See me harder see me solder my big wire there first getting it hot because that 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 10 gauge wire it takes it you know it gets hot slow i reckon i'm saying that right it gets hot slow <laughs> and you know when you're making a video man it's you you trying to do it without getting in the way and it you know it would be a if you if you just out there just doing you can do it a lot faster but when you mucking with that camera and you trying to get where you ain't sticking your hands in the way and then it ain't as easy as it looks Then you have some son of a gun come along and then like in this like your video. Like you been you be done work two or three days on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the people that live around here I try to encourage them just to come and get an antenna because you know, I know a lot of y'all do some good work, but everybody don't and uh, I ain't knocking nobody, but a lot of people won't solder, won't solder nothing. They'll do it without soldering, and, and it'll work for a while without soldering it. But, you know, I've said it a hundred times, if just one, if just one piece loses contact with that, it'll mess up the whole business. Anyway, it's Danny S. Hodges on, on Facebook. I, I do got an account that I'm locked out of. That's, that's Danny Hodges. I can't get into that account. It's, if you come, you have to. it has to be Danny S. Hodges. You'll see that profile picture where I'm holding the drumsticks. Uh, and, you know, just in me talking while we're looking at this, Somebody today was a, a clone, a girl, a girlfriend of mine on YouTube. I knew it was a clone because they sent me a friend request, and I actually thought, I actually thought for a second it might be them because they had done, even her sister had done friended her. So I went ahead and friended her, and she sent me a message, hi, how you doing, something or other in that order, and I knew that wasn't her. I said, you know, I typed in and I said, where do you want me to send the money to? You know, I was acting like I had not already done had a deal with Sue about sending some money. And buddy, they jumped right on it. And, uh, you know, they was going right along with it. And like even, even after I said, uh, do you think I'm stupid? They were still wanting that ten thousand dollars. You know, I took I took some um, some screenshots of that. I actually got that on Facebook. You know, the conversation I was having with the person. You know, I mean that that the, the texting com conversation. Oh, I didn't realize, man, I done got it here on the, uh, on the table, and I was drilling my holes, putting it on the pole, and y'all do know I'm going to be taking this out, uh, on the, on the job and show y'all, you know, show, with me installing this and everything. I put, uh, I put four screws in it, I actually would have liked to put six but they just they just want enough room there and you know i didn't want to just 
sit there and drill the thing to death. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm actually going to... I ain't done it. And I ain't even done it, you know, up until this point. But I'm going to put some little... Uh, something on it, like, to keep it from... Like... Twisting. You know, because... You know, I'm making this thing last a long time. And I didn't show y'all of me soldering the transformer. Because it was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I got some black tape wrapped around the antenna. And uh, I got the uh, transformer. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah, I got the transformer soldered on. See me put that dielectric grease on there? That keep the water out. That water, that water, I, I don't, I tell y'all about it a lot, but I, I don't think people take what I'm saying. That water, if it gets in the coax, it'll mess the antenna up. I done, man, I done had that happen three or four times. And I'm just a state, like trying to stable out, stable my coax. Cause I'm actually fitting to waterproof that thing there. Be the first time I've ever done this about the way I'm fitting to do this here. Come here, Tim. I got Tammy here, and uh, I let her say hey, hey to y'all. Hey, y'all. Merry Christmas. Y'all hear that? She said Merry Christmas. See, I got some, uh, you know, that blue glue. Except this ain't the blue glue. I, I bought this for something else. Uh, or I already had this, and this is what you do. You always use what you got. But that's some. That's the blue glue, but it's. That high heat blue glue. And uh, I actually put, I actually taped down a piece of uh, PVC uh, plastic. I actually taped that down to the antenna. And then, man, I'm putting a bunch of that, that red glue on there. I'm sort of getting my zip ties ready, putting it around it, like kind of just uh, holding it in place. And actually, what I do is let that dry some or cure. Uh, it, dry or cure, I don't think they very much difference. But I'll let that dry some, and then I will... Uh, come back and put one more like what kind of one more code on there and then there's my channel master booster I want to tell y'all I got three channels and I'll put the three channels I know most of y'all know it and some of y'all might get tired of hearing it but I get new viewers every day Every day I get, they, I don't know how many new viewers I get every day, but it's a bunch of them. And they, they's a bunch of people like seeing my stuff for the very first time. Man, they, they had some, uh, they were some tractors that come down the road. And, uh, the man, they was making racket and sawing, you know, cutting them limbs about the power lines. Man, they were making racket, and I stopped for a long time, and that's all I had left there is just to put the booster on, and and I finally just went went on back out there, and because I wanted to get that, I wanted to get the video finished where I could go ahead and start making it up. I'll have the video of me installing this right here, like not long after this video you're seeing right here 
There it is. I got it sort of finished up. I ain't got the pusher screwed down good. But because I'll probably be my jumper that's coming down. I'll probably make that a little shorter when I get to the jaw. And see, I'm just now spreading my crosses out. They've been laying on top of one another the whole video. But I just now spread them out. Every time you lay them on the table or something, they go back together. That comes back to, I done done so many men, I know they ain't no need to do it until the last thing. That antenna right there hit a gin, son. You know, you know the ultimate antenna make a, a antenna look bad. Another antenna look bad. But that joker right there, it'll make that ultimate antenna, it'll make it look like it ain't even working good. See me out there with my pajamas on, don't you? Hey y'all, don't forget to like. Don't get. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see y'all on the next video. And don't forget, man. I'm gonna be installing this thing.